You're the savior in my nightmares When it's darkest in the night You the one who picked me up When no one showed me love You were angel undercover Your home is up above Good morning everybody, this is Stry Dogs Bringing you another vlog I figured, hey, why not just do a vlog today, man? It's been a while. I want to do one. Y'all, it's been a while since we've actually, like, got to be one-on-one -on -one like this. You know what I mean? Besides doing, like, gaming videos or Lord's Mobile, whatever it may be. But today, we are going to be going to the gym. We're, we're going to do uh, chest and back today. I just woke up. It's, like, 11 or 12 in the morning on Saturday. Um, but I just cooked breakfast, right? This is what I cooked. Went over here and just cooked me some eggs. And bacon, turkey bacon, right? To get my uh, my good little post workout going here. Um, but after after our workout, chest and back, we are going to go to. Uh, I don't know if y'all. I don't know. I know y'all live all over the, all over the freaking world. Okay, I know this, but I don't know if y'all have like a place called Sam's Club. I don't know. It's like a big grocery store for us where you can buy things in bulk. So instead of like buying one bag of, or one box of oatmeal, you get like a freaking huge box. It's a huge box. Y'all will see. But we're going to go there and uh, go shopping um, and get some stuff for our place. And cause we need some like chicken, veggies, things like that. And then after that, we are going to, what else are we going to do? We're going to come back here uh, to our place and... Make a Lord's Mole video, and then also probably start editing this vlog. I don't know yet, and live stream. So that that's our freaking plan today. I know it's not a lot, but you know what? I just want to get a vlog out there and try to make things interesting, switch things up a little bit. But anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all like the hat. Let's go, PAP, and let's get the day started. Alright guys, we have arrived at Motherhood Maternity. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're going to Smoothie King, baby. Let's go. Get in our games. Ah. Oh yeah. Got our smoothie from Smoothie King. This thing's got like, I think, 13, 1400, or not, wow, 1400,000. That makes no sense. It's got like 1400 calories. I'm like hyped right now for some reason. I don't even know. I might refuel my body with freaking calories. So I'm just happy right now. <laughs> I can't help it. But we are at Sam's Club now. And we are about to buy some stuff. We're about to freaking drop some money, dude. Jesus. I, I guarantee you we're going to walk out of here with like at least, at least $200 spent. Okay? So 
let's go go ahead let's go ahead and knock this out of the way go ahead and get it out of the way god dang it guys i found it so funny look what i have so far right i have all this stuff right i'm not even halfway finished with shopping yet i'm not even halfway finished i just began dude this is about to be ridiculous and the bad thing about this is I suck at shopping. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. I don't know where anything is. This place is huge. Oh my god. Woo! Bro. Freaking shopping. Grocery shopping sucks. I hate it. Literally, there's too many people. The lines take forever to get to the cashier. It is ridiculous. But long story short, guys, it wasn't too bad. I mean, honestly, this is everything that I bought. See if it'll focus up. This is everything that I bought, bro, and it ended up to be $167.11. So it's less than $200. I thought it was gonna be more than $200, but hey, what can you say? It wasn't all that bad. here guys and we're gonna end it on a freaking high note okay so pretty much I just want to talk about uh, what y'all can and y'all what y'all can't do in life okay so pretty much the way that I see things guys the way that I see things my mentality I feel like you can do anything you want in life everything is a mental game in your head there's a lot of mental blocks meaning um, a lot of times you will talk yourself out of doing something you'll get scared of doing something You're, you'll be scared of um, like all these people, all, like hard work, I guess you could say. In order to succeed in life and to make something of yourself, you have to put in a lot of hours, you have to be patient, and you have to put in a lot of hard work. Meaning, you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot of stuff. And I know, man, I know the way that I think, I feel like I, I think differently than a lot of people, and, um, and I don't mind that, I don't mind that at all. I know what I want in life, and I know what goals I want of mine that I'm, I'm going to be chasing. And for the most part, and, and a lot of people ask, like, why, why did I start doing YouTube and things like that? And I can go ahead and tell y'all, um, the reason why I started doing YouTube is because I thoroughly enjoy making people happy. And I, make, I like making people, like, whenever they watch my videos, when people watch my videos and they get, like, a joy out of watching it. I love that. I love that feeling that it gives me because that actually makes me happy. The way that I edit and upload videos, it makes people happy and that, that makes me happy. And that's all I want in life is to make other people laugh and smile. That's why I spread the whole PAP, positivity attracts positivity, because I mean that. Like That's my motto. That's what I want to spread around the world is positivity attracts positivity. Make make things a lot better in this world. Make, things, make people happier, smile. That's what I want to do. And so my whole goal for my YouTube channel is to make people laugh, make people smile, and to make people's day a thousand times better. So what I'm trying to say to you guys is, whatever your dreams are, don't be afraid to chase them. Bro, growing up, I was a, I, I consider myself a athletic, because I was really into baseball and sports, right? And I, you know, I worked hard, I worked out all the time. Um, I wanted to play professional baseball, but also I was a freaking, I guess you'd call me a nerd. I, I love games. I love video games, even till this day, bro. I, I love video games. As y'all can tell, I'm always playing them, right? But if you put enough time into something, you can make a career out of that. Me personally, money is not a problem and not an issue. I don't necessarily need money. I don't think money is everything. Some people feel like they need money. They need, need, need money. Obviously, you need some money to like survive and things like that. But if you really think about it, guys, if you chase your dreams, put in the hard work and effort into it, money is eventually just going to start pouring in. You know what I mean? Eventually, that's going to happen. But the only way to get to that level is to put in the hard work. To me, money is just another object. You know, you just you get it. 
you cut down a tree and they're made out, they're made out of paper, okay? They're made, it's, it's paper, it's materialistic things. I'm not a very materialistic person. I don't need things like that, I just don't. I just want to create things from my ideas that are in my head to make people happy, that's all I want. Whatever goal you have out there, whatever it may be, if you wanna be a teacher, if you wanna be an athlete, if you wanna be a computer science whiz, whatever it may be, you need to chase that dream chase it no matter what anyone says like i was saying in high school bro i, I thoroughly enjoyed games and i would thoroughly enjoy sports that's just that's just who i was and no matter who i was around i didn't let that affect me i don't let other people's opinions affect me and till this day no matter who you are i don't let any if you're like any opinion affect the way that i think i just i grew up that way i don't know why or how some people have a hard time comprehending how I do that, how I just put things behind in the back of my head and people talk trash and how I just don't let it affect me. I cannot, the best way I can explain it is guys, the whole positivity attracts positivity thing is so engraved in my head. The whole be, making other people happy, making the world happy is so engraved in my head. People trash talk me, I, it doesn't even like phase me one bit. I'm not even like, it's so hard to explain. I don't even pay attention to that. They're so irrelevant to me. They're because whenever they trash talk, I feel like I'm up here and they're way down here, and I just don't even listen to what they have to say because they have nothing going for them in their life. If that makes sense, that's just how I visually see things, and that just pour, that just makes my brain portray things so much easier. Just being happy, just being happy. And I know when I start talking about like so, like serious things like this, guys, I start like jumping. I get my mind goes sporadic. I start jumping one thing to another. So I'm um, trying to like stay on point here. Chase your dreams, guys. Do whatever it is that you want to do in life. Whatever it is, it's gonna have to do with a lot of hard work. You gotta put in the time. Guys, there's gonna be times when there's gonna be freaking ridiculous rough times where you just don't want to give up. But those are the times you have to push through. That you gotta go over the wall, push through the wall, and you'll soon realize where you're at in life, and you'll be like, "Wow, I'm glad I did not give up." You have to stay at it. You have to have patience. Remember, patience is key. Always have patience. Do not give up, man. Do not give up. Do not, man. Just keep at it. Keep at it. Put in a lot of hard work. Make. Remember, quality over quantity. Not necessarily you have to just do things a lot, but do it a lot and do it the right way. Do it the right way. And be different. Be different. Don't, don't go and copy other people. Have their ideas, have their ideas, but put your own little twist to it, right? Put, own little, put your own little twist into whatever it is you wanna do. Make it different, make it stand out. Come up with ideas. Like for me, for an example, my YouTube videos. They're not your normal YouTube videos just because they're not just, hey, this is how you do this and that and this and that. I put always put my little twist to it just because I feel like I that's just who I am. And I don't let anybody change that. I'm just always just who I'm gonna be. I can play a game and you're gonna wanna learn how to do something. Not only you're gonna learn how to uh, do something in my videos, you know, but it's gonna be very entertaining and it's gonna have my own little Stridox twist to it because that's just the way I make my things. But again, guys, anything in life you can do. It's all in your head, everything's mental, okay? It's mental. You can do anything that you wanna do. Don't let anybody tell you any differently, okay? You can do anything that you wanna do. I'm here to tell you that and I will freaking stand behind your back till the freaking world ends, bro. I will have your back. I will uplift every single one of you every single day and make y'all laugh. You can do anything anything in this life. I mean, this life is crazy as it is, man. This world is ridiculous. It is, it is, it is crazy. You have one life here. Make it count. Make it count. Make other people happy. Chase your dreams. Do what you want to do. You don't want to work that nine to five job every single day. You're not going to love your job. You're not loving a job like that. That you, If you don't chase your dreams, you're going to be stuck doing a, a job that you're, that, you, that you're just going to hate. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just imagine. Right now, you're about, let's, let's just imagine this. You're 15 years old. This is just an example. Now imagine, another 15 years, you'll be 30 years old, okay? You're still young, bro. You're still young at 30. Now, imagine when you were at 15 and you put in a lot of hard work and effort and time and you had patience, okay? Patience, meaning you're 15, now you're 30. 15 years of patience and you chased your dreams during that time and now look where you are at 30 years old and you're still young. You're still young. You're not even 50 yet, but you're not even halfway to 100, and you already chased your dreams and you reached your accomplishments at 30, and now you have your whole life ahead of you to do whatever you want. 
Just imagine that. All of you young kids out there, man, one thing that you can take from this video, one thing you can take from me, chase your dreams. Start now. Put in hard work, patience. You're gonna have to sacrifice a lot of things. Maybe you might have to sacrifice friends, you might have to sacrifice sleep, whatever it may be. There's just gonna be a lot of things you're gonna have to sacrifice, but it's gonna be worth it at the end of the day. Your true friends are gonna stick beside you. Your true friends aren't gonna leave you, okay? Your family's not gonna leave you. Everyone's still gonna be there. But at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it. It is, it is going to be worth it. Just remember that. So again, have patience. Be patient, guys. Be patient, patience is key. Chase your dreams. Never give up. Don't listen to what anyone has to say. And most importantly, positivity attracts positivity, man. Be happy, smile, and spread happiness around everybody. Watch what happens in your life, okay? I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Leo says, what's up, man? Leo says, what's up, bro? What's up, what's up, what's up dude? Hashtag PAP, Striper for Life. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope I can motivate some of you guys. I love you guys for real. Y'all are family to me, man. I freaking, I thoroughly, genuinely love you guys. And I will support y'all with whatever, whatever y'all want to do in life. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is Stride Ox. Do that. Hashtag PAP, Striper for Life. Leo says, deuces. Talk to y'all later, guys. Peace.